and our good friend Faith Young is Faith a Young, great we love example you. of Come that. On. We love you. And never once has she had to ask for business. And she is one of the top Coldwell Banker realtors in Colorado and in the nation, That's I believe. Yeah. Um, and it's yeah, because she's, she's always giving. And it's not about, I'm a realtor. Do you know anybody? You know, yeah. it's right. how can I help you? And she, I mean, she's an author as well. And I mean, she's she's just a beautiful person. She truly know. is. But she it's is. always, how can I help you expand what you're doing? Who can I connect you with? What can I do for you today? And I love that. It, Absolutely. it just speaks volumes for people think of her. You always want to try to be present, not just in attendance. I love that. Because, you know, when you're around people and if you're, you don't want to just be another number. You know, uh, talking about that uh, specific topic, it's knowing your value and not giving people discounts. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, that's kind of an old adage into that. I love it. And I think that's the truth. Is it, but it's, it's tough for some people, I understand. But that's the support systems and that's really just having that inner strength. Mm -hmm. uh, we all have things that we deal with and I think that's important to know. Uh, no matter what you've been through, whether it's positive or negative, the people that we meet, the, the conversations that we have, it creates who we are. And we all need to just appreciate the journey uh, that we go through. And um, I think that if you can translate that in such a, such a way where you're really connecting with others, because we all deal with pain and happiness and, and uh, we're all real people at the end of the day. Yes. Um, I think that that really expands your brand and it's, it's, it humanizes everybody. It right? does. And it finds it common does. ground. I mean, don't be ashamed of, of your story or whatever the case may be, because trust me when I tell you, somebody else has gone through so much worse. Yes. So no matter how bad it is, and, and just know that and, and just, just live your life and be happy. I think it's important. I think substance too is so it makes you so much more attractive because you know nobody is perfect mm -hmm. and I think if you've you've gone through stuff adversity and you've come in I mean for me personally like I've had I feel like some of my biggest feats have come from moments of strong adversity like you know we filmed a show the other day and I <laughs> lost all the footage <laughs> We didn't just have a wardrobe change here. Wardrobe you know, change. It's not a vanity thing, I swear. But I think the flip side of that too, Forbes, one of my favorite quotes that he has is, too many people overvalue who they aren't and undervalue who they are. And so That's yes, strong. we all have a story, but your story does not define you when it comes to, you know, maybe those challenging times. You you experienced it and it happened but how you got through it in that journey I think is what we need to focus on even more so than the negative negative. and sure. yes it makes us all relatable but but how you got through that and maybe you help somebody else get through some adversity. So my good buddy is a really really great example of that as well um, so he has been homeless since he was 12 grew up in New York and um, he is now a successful business owner he has no family but he's really built up an amazing network um, people that just inspired <laughs> him to Oh, that was great! I, no! <laughs> Jerk. Like, I cannot believe I spilled my wine. Come on! You're kidding. No, that's fine. Right. No, keep going. I love you. I'm sorry. That was really weird. I, just, I was trying so hard to hold it where, in. Where were you? Where did you leave off? <laughs> He was, he's a successful business owner now, so. Yeah, and he surrounded himself with really great people that inspired him to not be stuck as that 12 year old, because I think, you know, someone who may have gone a different path, it could have been a different life. Mm -hmm. But he decided to, yep, this is my story and I'm gonna take mm -hmm. it with me to inspire other people, but but look at what I've done. Not, not to be, boastful, but sure. <laughs> but yeah, in the sense of you, you can come out mm -hmm. on the other side. And me, per I keep saying me personally. I need to stop being so <laughs> personally. Just say, just like, say personally. I'm just like personally. I'm touching. I'm feeling. <laughs> this is a great video, folks. I find it more intriguing when people have a story. Mm -hmm. Sure. You know because. If you're entitled and everything was handed to you, you don't appreciate little things. And right. that is really what sets you apart. You know, if you don't appreciate people's time, their efforts, their your your efforts, your worth, then um, how do you expect people to buy into you and you know really reciprocate that back? Right. right. That didn't make any sense. But it did. No, it did. Okay, good. So what else did we touch on that we have not any, yet? Anything with business? <laughs> we touch a lot. <laughs> we do. I will say this, and Greg, I'm sure when you were speaking about earlier digitally mm -hmm. being connected. So one thing that I've always tried to tell agents that I've worked with in the past or just people in general mm -hmm. 
when you're doing stuff on Facebook, the, so many millennials are on Facebook now. So right. they're just doing this the whole time. Like they're just, if, if you're gonna do a video, my advice would be anything digital, you wanna start with a teaser and then just make it quick because your audience, you, you've got about, I'd say, 30 seconds to two minutes to really capture them. Oh, yeah. And if you lose it, you're done. Sure. So, um, digitally speaking, <laughs> I like that's it. That's right, that's right. <laughs> you wanna, um, I would start with a teaser and then you can always post something below or have another connection to where they can get the rest of the material. Yeah, I'll jump off. <laughs> Consistency. Of that. I'll jump off of that. Consistency is key, yeah. right? Would yeah. you say that? It is. It is. And and just going touching, touching again. Um, <laughs> You're touching again. That's it. I, I think that uh, digitally speaking, going into the categories of what you were talking about. I think that it's important to always pay attention to your sphere, and I don't know if I already said this, but I might as well say it again if I did. No, you didn't. Okay. <laughs> just, just, say, just say it. Um, I think it's important to, as you would be physically with somebody, you want to do the same thing digitally, so it's important to... <laughs> what did they put in this wine? <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Here we go. Try uh, again. Here we go. I'm holding my piece. What I did swear. you have? <laughs> So when it comes down to marketing and advertisement that we were talking about, I think it's important to be present with the followers that you have. And a lot of top uh, technologists, they break it down to just the physical portion of the conversation. You want to be with the people. Uh, it's not about you. It's about the other person engaged yes. in the conversation. And I think that digitally that's equally if not more important. You are not necessarily centering the attention around you. You have to follow right. your followers. I think I that's important I to to build your brand and awareness on top of that. I think is, is important. So I think even finding too, if there's something that sticks out about you, um, like a good friend at Caliber, he goes by Trust the Beard. He's got this amazing beard, <laughs> and now everyone knows him as the Beard Guy. And so his tagline is Trust the Beard. Amazing for his marketing and for his brand building, right? Yes. The sure. Property Mommies. Shout out to you guys here in yes, Colorado Springs. Yes, absolutely. I mean, they've really found they love being mommies, and that's something that's a big part of their life, and they can bring into their business. And so they they marketed that. I think the tagline is key because anything that you can associate with yourself, like even with Crystal and I, babes supporting babes, business branding and event planning, it's like. <clears throat> when people hear that, they're going to associate that. Or, you know, Greg, what's your tagline? Gosh, Just Greg I, Fowler. I, 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 I don't need a tagline. I'm Greg, I'm Greg Fowler. Well, there, when it comes down to it, I think your your tagline, and I put, I put up a quote a while ago, but it ended up being, you know, the brand and what you represent it ends mm -hmm. up being your face and your smile and, and yes. what you represent as far as uh, out there in the community. And your reputation is extremely important. Uh, I think that a lot of people physically, uh, they have to have one shot to walk into a room and impress somebody and, and make that impression positive or negative into that whether you're knowledgeable credible trustworthy right. I think that that's important for you to Translate that equally digitally and I'll go back to that uh, By saying understanding who you are and what your market is mm -hmm. doing that I think is, is crucial for for that I always say when you're doing business even on your personal page with your business content like the four to one rule or three to one rule. Mm -hmm. Three personal, one business. Love because uh, people don't want to be sold to, they want to be shared with. Right. So if they feel like they're a part of something, that's gonna give them more incentive to invest in you and really just, you know, capture that appeal to whatever it is you're, you know. Sure. Yeah, selling. we all wanna work with someone <laughs> we know, like, and trust. Yeah, right? I Correct. think it's a big, big proponent of that. So. How are you working work. to? Sorry, that is smart. great. That How is... are you? <laughs> it, it, you... Was, it was smart. It was. Nice. I looked that one up before I came. I loved it. I was like, How can I use words. this word? Right. Agreed. Like and, and when you're talking about different industries, and, and this this uh, portion is heavy into developing business, it doesn't matter what industry you are in. I think that it's important to grow your sphere. Uh, physically getting to know like and trust more people I think right. is crucial it doesn't matter how many people you do know there are more people out in the community who don't know us mm -hmm. who don't yes. know our brand yes. so it's really about projecting that out to people and having those engaging conversations and being right. honest with one another and I think that you'll see business grow but also your personal life will grow on top of that uh, talking about what we glazed over a little bit too is 
when we are out there in the community having conversations with people who are developing our reputation, which is extremely crucial and important for future business and relationships, when we're posting digitally, mm -hmm. it's just like we're speaking. Yes. Yeah. So make sure that if it's something that you would or would not say with a total stranger over a <laughs> cup of coffee, uh, and don't have a, a waiver, don't change who you are, you know, yes. don't be one yes. way with certain people physically right. and then a completely different way, you're gonna be walking on eggshells. Just be Definitely. true to who you are. Don't worry if you're going to necessarily offend somebody, because look, not everybody has to work with us. Right. No. And you want people who are like-minded, again, the light attracts light sort of mm -hmm. scenario, I think is crucial, and that'll be a nice way for you to weed that out. But as long as you're not intentionally hurting anybody, mm -hmm. uh, I think that that's important for just you to be you, physically and digitally. Yes. And I, I mean, integrity, that's like the whole, that's the whole nine, you know? <clears throat> I think that in any relationship, especially personally, nobody wants to be lied to or deceived. Um, loyalty is huge, uh, but some relationships don't work. So, I mean, if you come at it from the get-go and say, you know, here's, here's what I'm about, here's what I have to offer, this isn't going to work, it's not going to work. It's not, we don't need to be offended. But then, you know, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So when you talk bad about other people, it makes you look bad, you know? Uh, there's a lot of haters out there. Yes. <laughs> we unfortunately have experienced it already. Uh, come on, what's the matter with you? <laughs> I think criticism too, um, in my opinion, I think a lot of times, yeah, it's hurtful. You know, people can be really mean, but if you look at it and you try to rechannel that negativity as, man, well, I must be doing something right because <laughs> you're not a happy camper right now. Sure. It's all about your like, response is yeah, key, right? Like and sometimes no response is the best response. Mm -hmm. Silence is deadly. Keep it classy, Colorado Springs. Yes, kill them with kindness. Smile. Well, we just want to say thank you to you, Greg, for being here, for your time, your expertise, sure. and really giving us some yes. some great tips and. <laughs> I was gonna say so. I'm I'm just appreciative that you are you took time to come and hang out with us. For sure, it's my pleasure. You really know, nice. we the more you learn, the more you earn, right? Yeah. So it. when you connect with people, I know when Crystal introduced Greg and I, we all met together, and the exchange was so energetic for me that I left the conversation thinking, man there's like 15 more things I can do to conquer this world. Love it. And I That's think awesome. that is, yeah. you know, when you get around people that really bring out that inspiration, that influence, and that drive and motivation, uh, there's <laughs> nothing, nothing's gonna stop us. Yeah. <laughs> it's all magic from there. Anything else? Crystal? I feel like we have <laughs> 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 So I, I just wanted to say, you know, thank you guys so much for having me. Uh, you know, it's an absolute pleasure, honor to be a part of this. What you guys are doing is is very important for the community and other people. Just motivation, I think, is so crucial these days, and there's so much negativity, and you guys are bringing a little bit of light into the world, I think is so positive. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. <laughs> I mean, I know that I'm so blessed to be a part of it, so thank Aww, you guys thank so much. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, yes. We are Bro, supporting babes. Blessed. Right yes. there. So. <clears throat> and watch out, Ellen. Here they come. <laughs> Here we <Yes>. come, Ellen. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, catch us for our next episode for 920 and Whiskey, Babes yes. Supporting Babes, Business, Branding, and, and event, event Planning. planning. Thanks See again, Greg. Awesome. Cheers. Bye, guys. Cheers. Cheers. It's a space, and now you're home. Show me how to fight for now. Show me, baby. I tell you, baby, and it was easy. Coming back here to you once I figured it out. You were right here all along. It's like you're my mirror. My mirror.